do you guys remember the saying it takes a village I actually believe in that saying because I do believe that it takes a village to raise children but I also believe that it takes a village for us to survive together you know a lot of people get annoyed when someone older speaks about how things were back in the days and it's not to throw anything in anyone's face but it just seems like our moral compass was a little bit different just think about it back in the days you wouldn't dare cuss in front of an adult you know someone older you would give them your seat you would help them with their bags you protect the children rather they were your children or your children's friends or a stranger's children it just doesn't seem to be that way nowadays it just seems to be everyone looks out for themselves I remember back in the days you would babysit your friends, kids, and it wasn't about money. It wasn't about charging them. It was just about those children having a safe place to go, a safe place to be. I'm not sure what happened, but we got lost somewhere. Somewhere, somehow, we got lost with that. And everything seems to be about money. Now, if you feel that that's the right way, then please please dig a little deeper in your heart because I just don't feel like that's the way but that's just me to each his own of course but think about it I do feel like we all need one another for help I do feel like we all should be able to lean on one another without it having to come down to how much money can you give me for that you know let's think about times when other single parents let's say couldn't make it to like parent teacher night because they had to work. You knew all the kids in the neighborhood, so you would step in, you would pick up that report card, you would even sit with the teacher and find out what's going on so you can tell the other parent everything that's going on with their child. Parents depended on one another. I remember when my kids were smaller, it was just me and I wasn't always able to take them everywhere and pick them up, but there were other parents that used to help me there were other parents that used to give my kids rides and I appreciated that and as you can see even to this very day even though my kids are adults I still appreciate all that help that I received because I couldn't do it alone what happened to that guys what happened to us sticking together what happened to us looking out for each other what happened to us being a village what happened to us caring about one another caring about one another's kids caring about helping one another. When did that become something that's not important? When did that become something that it's all about being so absorbed? I just don't feel like that serves us. You know, each one of us needs help at some time. And why not give it to each other? Why not be there for one another? Why not? It doesn't take a lot. I remember times when, even when I was growing up and I didn't have a lot growing up at all, there were parents out there that would pack an extra lunch to give to me because perhaps one of my friends told them that I didn't have much. And out of the kindness of their heart, they would just pack an extra lunch to give to me. You know, I used to spend the night at some friends' houses and their parents used to treat me like I was their own child. I remember that like it was yesterday. I remember having best friends, you know, when you're growing up, depending on your age or your environment, you would have different best friends. and. I remember those best friend's parents really, really caring for me like I was their own child. I really wish we can get back to that. Our kids out here, they need us to unite. Our kids out here, they need us to operate like a village. Us as individuals, we need that village. We need one another. I know a lot of times we like to feel like we can do it on our own. And for the most part, we can. You know, we're strong. We're resilient. So for the most part, we absolutely can do things on our own, but at some point you do need someone. At some point you do need help. I don't know anybody out there who just never ever needed help from anyone. The only bad thing about that is a lot of times now, it comes down to money. You'll help someone if they give you something. You'll help someone if you gain something. It's not so much from the heart anymore. It's for personal gain. Well, sometimes, People ask for help to do the wrong thing. You know, people ask for help to hurt somebody. 
People ask for help to destroy somebody. People ask for help to do different things in a person's life that will really make their life difficult. I'm really not sure how it came to this, but sometimes if you put the right dollar amount next to that, people will actually help do that. When did it come to that? When did it come to people saying, no, I refuse to help you hurt someone. I refuse to help you make someone's life difficult. I refuse to allow you to buy my integrity. Our integrity and our morals should not be for sale, guys. It should not. Our integrity and morals should be priceless. There should be no one that can put a price tag on our moral compass. There should be no one that could be able to sway us to do things to ourselves or to other people that'll cause hurt or harm or danger. When did that start happening? I would love for us to get back to caring about each other, wanting to help one another, wanting to help the children. So many different things happen to children nowadays. It takes all of us collectively to make it a safe environment for children, not just our own children. I know nowadays, I don't know, children, they're a little more feisty than from what I remember or from how I grew up. They do things a little bit differently, but they still need us. We still have to teach them right from wrong. If we only focus on our own, I just don't think that spreads wide enough. Look guys, we're not crazy if we understand it takes a village not just to raise children, but to help one another for us to get through our day to day. We are not crazy if we depend on each other, not for monetary gain, not for personal gain, but because it's the right thing to do. We are not crazy guys if we stand strong with our moral compass, our integrity, and we actually care about humanity. We actually care about helping. We're not crazy for that. And I can't say it enough. If it were up to me, we would definitely get back to that because it makes humanity stronger. It makes us stronger. It gives us more hope. It helps us to be more connected. It helps us to not feel alone. And we're not crazy for that because I'm not crazy and neither are you.